Hey guys, back with another study notes video and for Lordship Salvation. This was a very good teaching uh, until the until about the 45 minute mark when he started talking about tithing. He said something like, um, I didn't know I needed to start, I didn't know that I needed to tithe until I got saved or something. And I was like, what? And then for the rest of it, you know, he mentions tithing a few more times. But uh, for the most part, besides that, this was really, really good. And I was really excited until I heard that. But it's from Doug Hammett. Um, I've, I got this one, Sermon Audio. But it starts out really good. Luke chapter 6, verse 46 says, Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? This is a great verse to defend Lordship Salvation, which is the true gospel. Um, because there are those who call Jesus Lord, but they don't do the things which he says. So Jesus is saying, for me to truly be Lord of your life, you know, you have to submit to me and do the things which I say. Okay, so that shows that, you know, a lot of people will say that Lord just means deity. It just means that Jesus is God. And yes, it does mean that, but it also means master. Okay. And, you know, I know the message, it says, you know, Master Jesus, it changes it, that's wrong. And, you know, people say that's a New Age teaching that's being snuck in there and stuff. And, you know, there's other things, too. Of course, the message says helter-skelter, and, you know, it's a combination of things. But, you know, Jesus is Master, he's Lord. You need to submit to him as Master, okay? And the King James Bible is the Word of God, so that's all I'm saying is that, you know, not trying to give props to the message, but... You know, Jesus needs to be master of your life, okay? If you call him Lord and you're not doing what he says, then you haven't submitted to his lordship, which is necessary for salvation. So, continuing on. To know Christ is to love him. One can say that they are a sinner with their mouth, but not really believe it in their heart. Okay? Acts 20, 21, repentance is necessary for salvation. And when I do take notes, a lot of times I'll write down things that I already know. Basic things, sometimes we just need to write them down again. Okay, repentance is not a promise to never sin again. This was really, really good, so listen up here. <laughs> repentance is not a promise to never sin again, but an attitude towards sin that abhors it. Lordship is not a promise to always obey. It is an attitude to never want to disobey again. Okay, very, very good. The Lordship is a correct view of Christ. He is the supreme boss. Calling Jesus Lord implies obedience. Luke nineteen fourteen. Now, this made me really excited when he mentioned this because I use this verse for Lordship salvation, and I've never really... I mean, I came across a couple of people that used it online, but I was really happy and surprised when I heard this. The parable of... Um, the pounds or the talents, I'm not sure exactly what the title of the parable is. But basically, in Luke 19, 27, Jesus said, um, Those who would not that I would reign over them, bring them hither before me and slay them. Something like that. Okay, so, you know, to be saved, you must submit to Christ. Lordship implies obedience and authority. Um, the lordship of Jesus, or that Jesus is Lord, is declared 92 times in the book of Acts. That's crazy. 92 times. This is very important, okay, that Jesus is Lord. Savior is only found twice. Okay, so the emphasis should be on that Jesus is Lord. Acts 20, verse 36, Jesus is Lord of all, which means Jew or Gentile, regardless of background, Jesus is Lord. Okay. Um, the Lordship of Christ is declared in the scriptures. And uh, I just took note of this because I thought this was good, that he said Jesus saves us from the punishment and the presence, ultimately, and the power of sin. And uh, it's like the three Ps. <laughs> but anyways, continuing on with the Lordship of Christ, Romans 14, verse 9, says that Jesus is the Lord of the dead and the living. In Philippians 2, verse 9 through 11 we read that every knee will bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lordship is declared in the scriptures. The Lordship of Christ is demanded. In Acts 2.21 says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. And verse 6 says that Jesus is both Lord and Christ. Okay. In Acts 16.31 
um, you know, is told to the jailer to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's demanded that you must believe on Jesus as Lord. You must submit to his lordship. Galatians chapter 1 verse 6, we read about another gospel. And verse 8, it says, let him be accursed who preaches another gospel. Um, so any gospel that, you know, denies the lordship of Christ is another gospel. Uh, Romans 10 verse 9 says, confess the Lord Jesus. Salvation is not just a matter of the work of Christ, it is also a matter of the person of Christ. Not just what Jesus did, but who Jesus is. You take all of Christ or none of him. You may not fully understand all of him, just as you don't fully understand everything about salvation, but you can't reject any of him, just as you can't reject any of the gospel and still be saved. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 5 says, We preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. I'll go to the third and final page here in his notes. Lordship is defined. Why do men stumble at submission? Basically, Genesis 3, Satan called God a liar. You know, Adam knew full well what he was doing when he ate the fruit. Since then, there was a seed of rebellion in men's hearts. So since the fall, there's a seed of rebellion in men's hearts. That's why they reject the Lordship of Christ. So... This is really good too. In Acts 9, we see Saul, um, you know, he said, Lord, what wilt thou have me do? This is when he got saved. We know Saul Saul was saved uh, on the road to Damascus, um, on Damascus Road. Um, I thought it was interesting. He said Saul before, before he was saved, he was an honest hater of Jesus, okay? He honestly hated Jesus, not like people who profess the name of Christ, but in their hearts they hate him, they don't love him. Um, but Paul, um, it was not the words that saved Paul, okay, when he said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? It was not those words that saved him, it was the attitude in his heart. He yielded to Christ. Lordship is a relinquishing of our ruling rights. We don't make Jesus Lord, he is Lord. So, there's that. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless. AcceptYouBeConverted.com is an anti-church system, Trinitarian, free will, eternal security, King James only, Christian Zionist, Young Earth Creation, Lordship Salvation Ministry, where you can learn sound doctrine, apologetics, hermeneutics, and more. AcceptYouBeConverted.com is mobile friendly and secure from hackers and malware with SiteLock. Are you looking for fellowship? AcceptYouBeConverted.com is a virtual community with daily visits from men and women around the globe. Each page includes a comment section. There is a live chat feature that is available in the desktop and mobile version where you can chat with anyone on the site at any time. Join the fun on the message board which you can access by clicking on the link on the footer or by going to acceptyoubeconverted.proboards.com. Acceptyoubeconverted.com offers MP3 Bible teaching through Sermon Audio, which you can access through the website or through sermonaudio.com or the Sermon Audio app. Just search for It Is Written AJV. If you would like to send me your prayer requests, questions, or comments, there is a contact form on the website, also my Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to contact me anytime. I would love to hear from you. Please visit today. Support the ministry. Share with your friends and family. Share on gospel tracks. Pray for the ministry. Become a partner and help spread the truth of God's word far and wide. Introducing new video series for YouTube channel It Is Written KJV 1611. Bible Hermeneutics. Learn how to correctly interpret the Bible. Defending the Faith. Master apologetics and be prepared to answer any objections. KJV Bible Q&A. Answering various questions with the Bible. Doctrines of Devils Refuted. Refuting many false doctrines with Scripture. False Church System Exposed. Exposing the many problems within the modern church system. Go Preach, all about spreading the gospel. False Teachers Exposed, Bible teachers held accountable and named by name. 
KJV Defended, exposing corrupt modern Bible versions and teaching all things concerning the King James Bible. And more. Please subscribe and share.